Hey, y'all. Welcome to Count Blatt. I'm David, and I thank you for joining me today. Uh, today is going to be a bit of a nostalgic walk down memory lane. This is the Bushmaster XM15 E2S Dissipator in 556. I purchased this brand new. This was my first AR um, at the end of the assault weapons ban in 2005. That very illegal and worthless piece of um, litigation. When it came to an end, this was available again. And so um, the initial ones came out and they all had the, you know, nobody but law enforcement and police uh, markings on it. But this one came out right away. And uh, clearly they had the expectation that uh, that was coming to an end because this one's not marked that way. This is a um, Wyndham main uh, rifle. So these are some of the best of them. They're, they're well built and those guys knew what they were doing. Um, obviously, I've uh, changed mine out over time from the uh, plastic handguards. Uh, I was a young officer in Vegas and uh, one of the places around had this nice, uh, art, I think this is the rack, um, handguard. And so we switched it out to that pretty soon. Uh, it does have a standard birdcage A2 and then uh, a faux pinned uh, a2 front sight, so you get full length sight system, um, but it's a faux um, actual gas port. So standard dissipators, or, or I guess real dissipators, would have a full length. And then um, one of the things that you run into the problem is if you're not running a uh, full powered cartridge, uh, they do tend to choke a little bit on your softer 223, your steel case, uh, wolf, and stuff like that. Um, but with a mid length like this one, um, I've literally never had any issues with it running any of the, the wolf or uh, the lighter, older PMC stuff. Um, it just runs like a top. Uh, this one's pretty well uh, worn in. And here she's super smooth. There's no like <laughs> rubbing on or anything. She's had a lot of rounds through her, but she's just run great. Uh, they knew what to do in Maine to build these. So you have a 16 inch barrel, A2 flash hider. Uh, standard 556 bcg full auto uh, bolt carrier group they came with a, an a3 uh, carry handle um, one of the issues with the dissipators is sometimes it's hard to get them to uh, really zero in well and exact uh, this bad boy is all the way to the top of its site to try and um, get enough elevation on her uh, but that's just part of running the dissipators. They're great guns. They're a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, m my personal opinion is you should buy a mid-length version if you can like this, so that way you don't have to deal with the issues. Um, I've run some of the Deltons with the rifle length gas blocks, and um, all of the ones that I've dealt with have had issues sometimes running the, um, the lighter loads. But obviously they run... Full loads really well, and they're super gentle. So there is that trade-off. If you're going to be running full-powered 5.56, five, and you know you're going to, and that's all you're going to run, then, of course, a, a rifle length dissipator is the way to go. But if you're, you know, like me, where um, you run whatever's the cheapest to find at the time, I would go with the mid-length. So this is just the Bushmaster XM15 E2S dissipator. Uh, a blast from the past. Uh, just a quality... Uh, rifle that if you can find one that was made in Maine, um, that's the one to go with. Uh, right now, there's a lot of them that are actually hitting the market. Uh, I would be checking out um, Recoil Gunworks or King's Firearms. Uh, those two groups are the ones where I see it the most. They actually have some uh, blank firing ones, I think, at King's right now. Um, so if you wanted to build yourself out, something similar that's built uh, with some of the, the, the main equipment, I think they have some. So just check and see uh, if you can find out. Pretty sure that Kings tells you exactly where they came from. And so if you can find one that has the Wyndham main uh, set, that's the one to go with. Obviously, you got the old Bushmaster, that beauty right there. Uh, this is the Bushmaster XM15 E2S. Like I said, just a lot of nostalgia. Love this little rifle. Uh, she doesn't get out very much anymore with a lot of the, the newer guns that are available, but there's nothing wrong with uh, a rifle like this. It'll still protect you. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.